AI. It's cool, it's scary, it's ah. But today I thought I'd try and manipulate it. You know, gaslight gatekeep girl boss it into becoming an NPC for a video game. I'll talk a little bit more on why I'm doing it later on in the video, so um... Please watch it and subscribe and like and comment a, a really nice thing about the, the way my voice sounds today. <clears throat> on with the video. So first I started by searching the internet for the best AI to use. And I mean, it didn't take me long to find one. Chat GPT. 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 I then did a pretty basic search to find ways to make an AI an NPC, and um, fuck that. So when I was looking on the Unreal Engine marketplace to see if I could save some time and sanity, I stumbled upon a plugin called Convi. Convi? Convar? <clears throat> now what's so special about this AI is that it isn't just a chatbot. It instead uses a mic input and turns it into text. That text is then processed with an AI, and the AI generated text output then converts to speech, and it shits it back out as the final result. And it would look a little something like this. Hello there. Hi, how can I help you? The only issue is it didn't specify which AI it used, and to be honest, most of them are dog water. But I knew the one I wanted for the title. I, I wanted it for the title. So I decided to look online and see what else I could find out about this company. And oh, would you look at that, a demo game which they've ever so kindly made. Well, at least now I can see if it worked. So let's just download the most stable release and give it a try, shall we? While I was downloading the Convi test game, I went looking for alternatives, you know, just in case. And that's when I found a video of someone using ChatGPT and integrating it into their game. I downloaded their blueprint to try and make it work, and also downloaded the OpenAI API plugin for Unreal Engine. But as you can imagine, it wasn't all smooth sailing from there. So after trying to get it to work and having 17 brain hemorrhages in doing so, I figured I'd put that idea on the back burner and see if Convi worked out for me. Pray, pray Convi worked out for me. Oh hey, would you look at that? The demo game is finished installing. Oh, but it doesn't seem to get a mic input. Oh, for fuck's sake. So after aggressively searching the internet for answers, that's when I found Convi's YouTube series explaining how to make your own character. And to top it off, I realised I could actually make individual backstories for each AI. This is sick. So having not figured out my issue, let's jump back into the code and start troubleshooting. <laughs> So after a little troubleshooting, I narrowed down the mic issue to a single node and realised it was picking up the mic, Yay. but for some reason it was failing to process the speech to text. No. Now on their little Google Drive thing they also had a beta version, so I tried out the beta version of their demo project to see if that worked instead. Hello? Nope! Oh for fuck's sake! Okay, I guess let's try the earliest version on there. Hello? Nope! <sighs> So after exhausting every demo project on this side of the Pacific, I found a tutorial of someone setting up the plugin on their own project. And, long story short, I realised I'd forgotten to paste the API key into the settings. <laughs> Classic mistake, am I right? I'm wrong, they didn't tell me to do that. So, there you have it. My new game with an AI-powered NPC that's- Oh, oh, no, wait, no, the video's too short. Fuck it, I might as well give myself another impossible task to do. So one warm summer's evening, it's spring. I sat in my room thinking, sick, I have this AI, now what? But then I remembered I was actually trying to design a AAA game, and I just got kind of distracted by, well, yeah. So my journey started off with trying to integrate the AI NPC into my game that's currently called Project Daydream. So to help myself out, and also as a bit of an ego boost, I watched my old videos about Project Daydream. Man, those videos were something else. I then tried to figure out how to add the AI NPC to it. There was so much code for the AI, and I just couldn't copy and paste it because there was like 17,000 different things that needed to work together, and they needed specific directory instructions. And So I tried making a new project and merging the essentials from both projects, the map from Project Daydream and the AI from Project Real Speech. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this is called Project Real Speech, by the way. Off topic. Anyway, it didn't work out. Big surprise. So after struggling with the integration, I realised that the idea was inherently flawed to start with, and I need to finish the Project Daydream map first anyway, so I kind of forgot about Convi and started working on an AI walk system instead. Look, I promise this isn't me giving up, it's just me indefinitely postponing something which I found too challenging to easily do. Anyway, back onto the walk system. Initially, I made them walk around a line, but it wasn't random yet. How do I make a walk random? Well, at the time of recording this, <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I also needed to make higher poly level NPCs potentially using metahumans. How do I do that? Well, at the time of recording this, <laughs> I have no fucking idea. So I know I need a way to link metahumans with ChatGPT to make the ultimate NPC. But is that even possible? 